Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can install Ubuntu 18.04 on VirtualBox. So those of you who don't know what is VirtualBox, VirtualBox is an application using which you can run different operating system virtually on your host operating system. So for example, I am running Windows as my host operating system and I have VirtualBox on my Windows operating system and I want to run Ubuntu 18.04 on that Windows operating system. So using VirtualBox, this will enable me to do this. So let's see how we can do it in the VirtualBox. So if you don't know how to install VirtualBox, you can go to the website which is virtualbox.org. You can see the website virtualbox.org. I'll share this link into the description section. You can go to the download section or you can just click this button which says download VirtualBox and then you just need to click on this which says Windows host or if you are on the Mac then you can choose the OS X host or if you are on the Linux then you can choose the Linux version. So just click on that and just to follow the installation steps which are pretty easy to follow and you just need to click some next buttons and VirtualBox will be installed on your Windows operating system. In the previous video, I have shown how to install VirtualBox on Windows 10. Now the next thing we need to have in order to install Ubuntu 18.04 on our VirtualBox is the ISO file of Ubuntu. So just visit on this website which is ubuntu.com and you can see Ubuntu 18.04 LTS is the latest now. So you can just click on this button which says download section and choose the desktop option and then also you will able to see Ubuntu 18.04. So what I am going to do is I am going to click on download and here I am going to click on Ubuntu desktop and here we can see Ubuntu 18.04 LTS world. So now I will directly click on the download button and uh, here you will be encouraged to donate to open source to website but I don't want to do it for now I am going to just download this Ubuntu 18.4 ISO file. So file will start now it's around 1.9 gigabyte file so it will take some time to download this file. Since I have already downloaded this file, I am going to cancel but in your case you need to download this file and after downloading this file is going to look like this. So I am going to minimize everything and you can see it will look like this with an extension .iso. Now you have downloaded this file you are directly moved to the VirtualBox manager. So when you open VirtualBox it's going to look like this and in here we are going to create a new virtual machine so just click on new here on the top and just write the name of your machine which says Ubuntu 18.4 here so whatever name you want to give you can give it from here then the type is Linux obviously and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit so you can see there is a lots and lots of different operating system and their versions are there we just need to choose open 64 bit and then we can just click next here so these are the memory size requirements so if you don't have any problem I will extend it to the around green line here so up to the green line whatever it requires I am going to click. So next so now in this section you will be asked to provide the hard disk and if you don't have a good reason to change it I will leave it as default so which is uh, create virtual hard disk now so I am going to just click on the create and in here you will see a few options for hard disk I am going to leave it as default now I am going to click next and in the next you will find us to provide storage on physical hard disk so we, so we are going to choose this option which says dynamically allocated if you want to see the details of what is the difference between dynamically or allocated memory and the fixed size you can read here but the better is this option which says dynamically allocated so I am going to click next and on this next you will see the file location and the size so if you don't have the good reason to change it I will leave it as default the location and the for the size I can increase it up to according to my system requirement so for example I want around 60 gigabyte of memory so I am going to just move it to 60 but it's totally dependent on what on you so whatever amount of size you want to have you can just increase the size and now I am going to just click on the create 
which is going to create the virtual machine here but don't start this machine yet we need to do some settings here also so just choose this virtual machine which is ubuntu 18.04 and i'm going to click on setting here which is going to open the setting for this virtual machine so on the top you will see general setting here in the advanced tab you can just choose this option which says bidirectional for shared clipboard and drag drop also bidirectional this will enable you to copy from your host machine to your virtual machine which is ubuntu now so the next section is the system so I'm going to choose a system here and here you can change the base memory of your operating system. So for now, I leave it as default, but in the future, if you want to change it, you can change it from the next. So here the next step is the processor. So by default, VirtualBox will allocate on one CPU to your virtual machine, but uh, you can increase it from here. So for now, I will increase it to four CPUs and then I can go to display here. You can do the display setting for now. I don't want to change it. Uh, I will directly go to the storage section and uh, this is the important section. So in the storage, you just need to choose this option which says empty. So under the controller, you will see this empty disk option here. So choose this option and then you just need to click on the CD. So just choose the CD icon and then click on the virtual box optical disk file. And in here, you just need to give the path of the ISO file. So I'm going to copy the path and paste it here and then I'll just uh, choose the ISO file which I have downloaded. So this is the file I have downloaded from the window website. So I'm going to click just choose it and then click OK. So once you are finished with the settings, now you are ready to run our virtual machine. So choose your virtual machine and click on the start button which is going to start the installation of your Ubuntu. And now you can see the installation for Ubuntu 18.04 has been started now. In the first step, you will choose the language in which you want to install Ubuntu. So I want to install Ubuntu in English. So I will choose the option which says English and uh, then you can just click on install Ubuntu button here. So I'm going to just click install Ubuntu now. In the next step, you will be asked to provide the keyboard layout for your Ubuntu operating system. So each country have uh, their different keyboard layout. So I'm going to choose the English US keyboard layout because I want, to I want the English keyboard layout. So whatever country you are living in, you can choose the keyboard layout of the that country and then click continue so will it ask me what apps would you like to install to start with so i will just choose the normal installation and i will just choose download updates while installing ubuntu and i will also choose this option which says install the third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware so i'll choose this option and also i'll click continue in the next step you'll see this option which says erase disk and uh, install ubuntu so don't worry it's going it's not going to erase a, anything from your disk so it's just an option which you need to leave as default and then click install now and now it will give a third kind of uh, question write the messages to this so i will say continue now in the next step you can see the location choose the location India so I'll leave uh, okay so click continue and here you can provide the credentials whatever credential you want to provide to your operating system so for example I want to give the name techie stock here and then the computer's names will be techie stock virtual box so I can even change this but I don't want to change this right now so pick any username so this will be the username of your Windows operating system and they can and then you can give the password which will use the to login to your Ubuntu operating system so for now I'll provide really weak password and then click continue so now you can see the installation of Ubuntu operating system has been started so in this step you just need to wait for the installation to complete so I'll just pause the video until the installation is complete
now you can see this message which says installation is complete and you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so I'm going to just click on this button which says restart now which is going to restart your Ubuntu 18.4 virtual machine on your virtual box and for the first time I generally see this problem it says please remove the installation medium then reboot so I'm going to just close this window from here and restart my Ubuntu from my virtual box so I'm going to just say power of the machine which is going to close this window and now I'm going to choose Ubuntu 18.04 once again and I'm going to start it from this button and you can see it's starting my virtual machine and now I can see that Ubuntu 18.4 has been restarted and this is the username which I have given so I'm going to click on the username and I will give the password which I have given in the installation so I'm going to repeat the password and you can see the welcome window of Ubuntu operating system so you can see what's new in the Ubuntu and when you can go here at the top you'll be able to see the switch off option and then this is the username from which we have logged in and these are the default apps which comes with Ubuntu operating system and if I want to cancel this welcome window I can just click quit or if you want to maximize it and you will be able to see the full desktop on your Windows 10 host so this is how you can install Ubuntu 18.04 on your virtual machine so I hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now